when using pencils, a 2H or 2HB is very light and a 6B is very soft. That is your one that is going to be much darker, smudges really, really easily. Your 2B hardly smudges at all. While sketching this tree, I'm using the 6B so that it can be seen easier, but you can actually use the 2H or HB. You just have to be careful. With the 2 being a harder lead, it will leave marks, so it'll indent your paper, in other words. So just use a very light touch when sketching. Now here you want to draw your tree branches like normal, but then the thinner branches will start being taken by wind. We can't draw wind, but we can draw the things that wind affects. So that's why it's so much fun to bend those little thin branches in the direction that you want your wind to go. Now smudging sticks are actually just rolled up pieces of paper. They're very cheap to buy. You can have like three in a pack, I believe, for, it's under $2, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, they have sharper points and a more dull point. I use the dull pointed ones for shading bigger surfaces. And then if you really need a little point, you can get in there and do some fine branches with that.
technique you want to use in here are lines, dashes, dots, little scribbles. Try to separate your tree from your leaf pile. So you want to go real dark in between the two. And now we're kicking it up. Just kicking it up a little bit. You can picture the wind hitting that pile and just kind of swoosh. And here they go, up in the air. Really just little dashes. You can smudge some out with that blending stick. Really easy and a pretty cool effect. We're adding just a little more detail here. Remember that your bark is not a smooth surface. So you want to use the point of your pencil in there to show more rough lines. You can get it darker around the edges. If you go darker around the edges and a little lighter in the center, what it does is it gives it roundness.
great thing about kneading erasers is you can actually shape it into the size that you need. So you could put a real nice sharp point on to get a smaller area, like in here. You just pinch it and then you have a sharper area. So it's an eraser that works really well, almost used as a shading tool in the reverse effect. Really cool, really fun, doesn't leave any crumbs, very cheap to buy. You can find them in the drawing sections of most craft stores. Here's our finished tree. Here's a close up and you can see that the distant leaves would be that, that blending stick as you move along here. Try to get some real black and real white in these kind of drawings. It makes it a lot uh, more realistic and dramatic. And then here you can see how I took some twigs over top of the bark. So those are in front of, and of course I used this kneading eraser just right in there, pinched it, and then put some dark in underneath so it stood out. And there you go, wind is blowing through your tree.